course that I have designed. At its core has a sweeping introduction to astronomy as we know it. The development of astronomy from uh, the earliest known times till the present day. Astronomy is the study of the universe as we know it. Even today we actually know a very little bit of what is there to know. So it's a very quickly expanding subject. As our instrumentation becomes better, we get to learn more and more. So it's been a long journey. We have learned a lot, but there is a lot more to learn. What we know and what we do not know about the universe and where we are planning to go from here. As well as how this progression of knowledge has affected us, our outlook, timekeeping, calendars, navigation and various other aspects where astronomy is directly involved. To do it at a level which is comprehensible to a large cross-section of people because YF is a mixture of people from various backgrounds. There is some quantitative bits of this course which is inevitable but it has not been easily accessible to people of all backgrounds. While I give a lot of this uh, astronomical background to also discuss how the um, astronomy has impacted various parts of our culture. That bit of it, I have actually engaged the students themselves in projects. So at the end of the course, they are going to give presentations. Astronomy is built upon uh, stages and stages and stages of rather unfamiliar concepts you know, as far as everyday you know, experience goes. Even if they have got certain parts of it, that is in itself an education which you know, I think we'll be able to apply in other areas of life. The story of astronomy is also the story of evolution of how we think about things. So it's a method of scientific thinking, thinking which has developed in astronomy which has influenced all other branches of sciences and not just sciences alone, by trying to inquire about what is there around us. We have developed a method of thinking about what is around us, thinking about ourselves. That realization is something I would like to leave the class with. But the first two lectures discussed in a, a fair bit of this as to how in a, large architectures have been dedicated to astronomical purposes and absorbed astronomical knowledge in the construction. We have seen over time the education per se becoming very specialized at one level and also become very broad at the same time. It cannot be denied that if you want to do a high level technological progress that you need a very focused education and training. On the other hand, for various other things in life, where large scale decisions are involved, governance is involved and so on, the broader the base, the more informed the decision making. We still do have to choose, acquiring a more broad based knowledge and uh, connecting with people at different levels scientists and technologists who start by being very, very focused. But to engage with society, you then need to you know, broad base yourself. The work you do is not in isolation with, uh, you know, with the rest of the society. Many people find it difficult to communicate. That communication barrier can be broken if you become broad based. So I think at both ends, when we deal with larger society, it is very important to be focused. So multidisciplinary education is extremely important in these areas. But if you are looking at someone who is only engaged in extending the technological frontier, for them it may not be that important. I have to say that there are some excellent books which are written for general public which are available in the area of astronomy. One of the books that I have been using as a text for this YF course is called The Story of Astronomy. It's a book by Heather Cooper and Nigel Hembast. 
It's a relatively recent book. A brief History of Time is something that um, uh, I think has uh, held a record for popularity you know, and uh, for good reason. There is a very interesting book by Steven Weinberg called The First Three Minutes. This gives you the story of the early universe from the time the Big Bang ha happened till the time atoms formed. For those who want to be a little more quantitative, um, there is a book at undergraduate level called The Physical Universe by Frank Shue. It covers almost all of astronomy, but at a um, uh, small estimate, um, uh, back of the envelope estimate kind of level. So um, these are a few books which I can uh, tell you at the top of my head, but there are many, many other books. And this by no means do ju uh, does justice to all the excellent literature that is available on astronomy. What a subject like astronomy is going to teach you is how to keep your mind open. It doesn't matter the facts of what you learn. It's most important to understand how we learn it. And it is that practice which can be applied to many other branches. Astronomy is one of them. But science as well as other branches uh, of uh, knowledge benefits from the method we have more or less intuitively developed of how to learn about things, how to conclude logically about things and having concluded something not to be afraid to ask the next level of difficult questions which then propels us to do uh, better, propels us to explore. When you are looking at idea space and uh, trying to move something forward, you need to be creative. And often the creativity is uh, seeded by ideas from multidisciplinary education. So something that works in some other uh, discipline can seed an idea which you can apply to your discipline. Humans have always been explorers and uh, there is no better uh, example of exploration than astronomy. We have explored the earth over uh, so many centuries and found wonders. So that is only the beginning point of astronomical exploration. You take that spirit and go beyond the earth to the rest of the universe and the rest of the universe is vast and infinite. So as you explore more and more, we learn more and more. So take that spirit and continue your exploration. So that's going to be my message that keep up the spirit of open mind, keep up the spirit of exploration. And, uh, apply it whichever discipline you are interested in. And we, will, so we will give you an example how it has been used to learn more about the universe.